Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you're doing well out there. I'm excited to do a new song off the brand new album from Cage the Elephant called Mess Around. Uh, we're in standard tuning and no capo. I'm ready to start. Let's do it. So starting off in the chords here, we start off in the intro, which the intro chords are also the same as the chorus, so that's something to keep in mind as we go through the song. It's just going to be an E to a G when we're like, ah, oh, no, no, ah, oh, no, no. It's just E to G. And the strumming is going to be, on the E, is going to be down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up. And back to the E. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up. All right? So, all right, so one of the things you're going to notice about that strumming pattern is that there's an extra down strum on the E as compared to the G. When you play it in real time, it's pretty hard to get that extra down strum in. It's pretty fast. So I'll put an asterisk by that down strum. You can remove that extra down strum if you want and then it'll just sound like down down up up down up 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 so that that still sounds fine when actually what they're playing is down so you hear that extra quick down strum on the E chord it sounds nicer with that extra down strum but if you can't do it you can't do it so just omit it all right so uh, what it sounds like if we put words. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. And then we get to that part of the intro or um, also the chorus. And then it says, no, she don't mess around. So it's going to be A to B to E. All right, so no, she don't mess around. Okay, so what I play on that part as far as strumming is on the A, down, down, up, and then to the B, down, down, up, and to the E, down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? So, A to B to E, A to B to E, no, she don't mess around. All right, so let's play this whole intro, which also serves as the chorus, the whole intro. Ah, no, no, ah. All right, so then we go to the verse chords. Verse chords are the same chords, they're just switched around. So we're gonna start with a G, and then go to an E. So it couldn't get much simpler, right? Um, and the, the, the strumming pattern that I'm using is down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Oh, St. Louis. California, blue eyes, yeah, she's coming for you. Land of Mary, Charm City, oh Lord, wish she was my baby. You know she'll drive you crazy, yeah, she's coming for you. And then we finish the verse the exact same way we finish the intro and the chorus. A to B to E, no, she don't mess around. No, she don't mess around. So as before, the strumming's gonna be down, down, up on the A, down, down, up on the B, down, down, up, up, down, up on the E, okay? So 
No, she don't mess around. No, she don't mess around. All right. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Those are all the parts of the song. So that after the verse, we go to the chorus. And the chorus is the same things that we learned in the intro, as I told you before. All right, so those are the parts of the song. There's the intro and chorus are the same, and then the verse, so it's pretty simple. There is a little electric guitar solo that they throw in here. I usually don't play that when I'm playing this song acoustically, but what I will do is I'll throw in a, a couple extra bars of E and G so that there's a second chorus, and then they, they do that little solo, and then they play a final chorus to finish the song. So um, in between those two choruses, I'll break that up by just playing a couple bars of E to G without singing. Um, and what I do on the E is I go, I, I do a lift off with this second and third finger, so I go. So that's the whole, the whole kind of little mini solo that I do. Um, so on, on the E, normally we play down, down, up, up, down, up. Um, so, what I, so watch when I lift off, watch the timing when I lift off with my second and third finger. down, up, up, down, up. So on the up, up part of that sequence, that's when I'm doing the lift off. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? So that's the timing on the E. And then I switch to a G. And in this case, you have to play the, the G with your last three fingers like this. So your second finger is on the fifth string second fret, your third finger is on the sixth string third fret, and your last finger is on the first string third fret. So that's how I play my G. And that leaves my index finger open to sus on the second string first fret. And I sus at the exact same time that I do on the E. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So the whole sequence sounds like... All right, so let's play this, this solo section all the way through. Again, you don't have to play this solo section, um, but it is something that, it's a very simple song, so it kind of adds a little bit of spice to it if you want to add something to it. Um, or I would encourage you to make up your own solo at this point in the song, okay? So the whole thing sounds like. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later.